Day six, splitting up. He's going that way. I'm going this way. Got the bikes. <laughs> That bullet like 60 yards. A cow literally chased the bull away. A moo cow. Big black one. Gosh. That sucks. Yes. Nice job, dude. <laughs> you started running in that dip, I was like, he was just trying to outrun me. <laughs> well, that sucked. A black moo cow chased off the five point I had coming in on a string. I don't know if it caught it in the video, but I gotta go catch up with Michael. Turkeys. We've locked our bikes five miles. <laughs> Uphill. Oh, he hasn't <laughs> but on the way out should be good. I'm sweating like a pig. Here's the dilemma. There's a bull 2,000 feet below us. At least. At least. Maybe two bulls going off. Just, I would imagine there's probably more than one down there if we have. Yeah, it sounds like they're going off pretty good. Literally, I mean, you can see the other side. You can see what it looks like. This <laughs> side looks the same, we're just above it. So, moral dilemma. Because we'd probably be hurting pretty bad just getting in and out, let alone if we killed one. Oh, that's what we're dealing with. Almost been here a week. This is the first fired up bull we've heard, and it's been in the worst, absolute worst spot. <laughs> you can be in. Like, there's no doubt. Well, I guess they're gonna find out in the next clip what happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is an inspiration for my wife. She says to go for it. There's your answer.
what not to do. So at the top, up there. Now we're at the bottom. That's the river right behind me. I'm 60 yards from the river. This is crazy. Took two hours to get down here. We can't find the bull. In the river. He's in the river? Yeah. You sure? He's crossing? You sure he's crossing? So we dropped all the way down to the river and found our bull on the other side. He's got six cows and uh, we called him all the way down to the river bottom. Almost got him to cross the river into our unit. Has that been done before? I don't, I don't know. Has anyone, have you, any of you guys ever called a bull across the river? He was close. He was in the river? He, he, was, said. he was in the river. He was walking into the river and then the, the wind changed. And uh, down in the bottom of this canyon the wind was the whole way down it was in our face and now in the bottom it's blowing right at him and he hung up and he shut up so now we're just trying to find him on the ridge so that we can give you guys a better photo of him. He was a good bull but he wasn't that uh, monster I was expecting in the bottom of this canyon. Still a nice one. Sounded good. Sun already. Well, it really doesn't matter if we're, as long as we're back to the bikes by dark, you know, or, or close to the top, it's gonna take a while. Snake, dude. That's. You gotta think that's at least four foot. 
Yeah. Look how big around that sucker is. I know. I don't like snakes. Fourth quarter, coach. Fourth quarter, coach. Put me in. Put me in. Put me in. <laughs> no. Very, very wet. Dude, I deal with it. Really gassed, so we're gonna make some mountain house before we reach the top because we've got nine miles to bike out after this. Nine miles or so. Getting the mountain house going. We really haven't eaten anything all day. A couple granola bars. So, what a day it's been. Hopefully, we get to locate some more bulls because we need that. go in the dark so I'm good with dropping a pin on that map for now. That ain't coming back with a long bowl. What about two? I almost shot one, don't you remember? <laughs> Five or six bulls today. But man, they are cool. They are just not very talkative right now. The last half an hour of light, they start talking.